We continually have greater access to more information than ever before and paradoxically have less time to delve deep into knowledge and grapple with our ideas. At Gaia we simply take time. In its seventh year, Gaia is more than ever a slow-up festival. So the musicians have time to take music apart, to, to really have a look at the bones of what's written and at the essence of what they can hear and interpret on top of us. So it's a bit like a child taking a clock, pulling it apart to see how it functions, putting it back together. Maybe it works the same way, maybe it doesn't. And then that's part of the experiment. Opening night is basically three concerts, repeated three times, at three different locations. But the musicians stay put, and it's the audience who moves between the locations. So the energy is incredible, because they're promenading between one place and the other. They're talking to musicians as they go along, and the musicians have a chance to relive this music three times, and each time give a new interpretation. It's a sort of happy battle between the themes that that um, the theme da da ya da di da it can be expansive ya ya and then da da yeah dig it dig it them yeah come on come on maybe uh, they can coexist in different temples even mm -hmm. before two three one we we reach uh, the sort of intimate mm -hmm. climax of the piece the the strength of having Daniel Schneider uh, here is that he's a performer composer uh, in the old style. Uh, here we are on Lake Toon, where um, Brahms spent a lot of time. And uh, in that period of music, it was very normal for um, performers and composers to, to be the same, the same people exercising the same things. The guy audiences have been particularly friendly and uh, uh, great to see that they're coming out in full force for the sold out final concert. When I was considering the programme for this year's festival, my thoughts turned to the connections between transience and perpetuity. And I had the idea to invite a composer whose music moves between the past and the future. And the music of Daniel Schneider, to me, embodies that. And it's a source of great joy that we can premiere two of his works this year at Gaia. It's actually the idea of creating something together and learning new pieces together and then present to the audience, which is uh, more work, but also much more unique. Because what you end up with is a, is a very unique uh, result that only exists in Oberhofen. It's not, oh yeah, this group I already heard in London, oh, they, I already heard them play the same program in Paris. That's not the case, it's, it's unique. It only exists here. I personally like that uh, much more than the other thing, which is more like a supermarket. You buy different products and the products are very good, but they're not unique. You know, this thing here is, is unique. Well, if you're making I got a chair, you tell me the end to the lonely shoe, You know, in Beethoven times, for instance, when he was premiering his symphony in one of them, it was a total uh, scandal. So the audience didn't understand it. So they needed to hear it a couple of times. And nowadays we already heard it many, many times, obviously. So one never knows when we hear a contemporary piece, for example, for the first time, we don't understand it. We might be even 
almost transported to the times when Beethoven was alive, the similar situation. And then maybe in 200 years, they will look back and say, oh, well, that's that piece which has been played and heard so often, you know. So it is a very dynamic approach. And uh, I find it especially wonderful in festivals where we meet, that we exchange these ideas, we exchange uh, pieces and um, bring in new repertoire and then together uh, explore it. It's wonderful. Music should do one of four things. Make you laugh or cry, want to dance, or throw your arms around the world. Gaia is a festival celebrating pure life.